in the Bible, Daniel chapter 1, verse 6. Okay, I'll read from verse 5. The king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine. From the king's table, they were to be trained for three years. And after that, they were to enter the king's service. Okay. Daniel and his three friends were taught literature and the language of the Babylonians. Okay, verse 6, among this were some from Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah. The king's officials gave them new names to Daniel. The name Balthazar to Hananiah, Shadrach to Mishael, Meshach and Azariah Abednego. But Daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine. He asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way. Now God has caused the official to show favor and sympathy to Daniel. See, when Daniel honors God, people show him sympathy. And when Daniel asks God for wisdom, God gives Daniel wisdom. Together with his three friends, they all have the wisdom of God. Let us look in chapter 2. When the astrologers, okay, verse 10, the astrologers answered the king, There is not a man on earth who can do what the king asks. No king, however great and mighty, has ever asked such a thing of any magician or enchanter or astrologer. What the king asks is too difficult. No one can reveal it to the king except the gods, and men do not live among them. This made the king so angry and furious that he ordered the execution of all the wise men of Babylon. Look at the way they answered the king, and the king got so furious. However, at verse 16, at this, Daniel went in to the king and asked for time so that he might interpret the dream of for him. See, Daniel was given wisdom by God how to talk to the king. The king didn't have any mercy for the wise men when they talked to him. But Daniel, with the wisdom of God, talked to the king in such a way that the king gave Daniel time. During the night, the mystery was revealed to Daniel in a vision. God also gave Daniel wisdom to not just interpret, but to also know the dream of the king and then interpret it. Then Daniel praised the God of heaven and said, Praise be to the name of God forever and ever. Wisdom and power are his. He changes times and seasons. He set up kings and disposes them. He gives wisdom to the wise and acknowledge, sorry, and knowledge to the discerning. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. Daniel had the wisdom of God because he asked God for it. Ask God for his wisdom. You will become a wiser person. Live for God. And God would change your life and give you wisdom. In other words, I'd like to share with you all also is First uh, Daniel chapter eighteen. Sorry, chapter one, verse eighteen. At the end of the time set by the king to bring them in, the chief official presented them to Nebuchadnezzar. The king talked with them, and he found none equal to Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. So they entered the king's service in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them. He found them ten times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom. Well, wow, this group of four people from Judea are ten times more intelligent, ten times wiser than all the enchanters and magicians in the whole kingdom this is the wisdom of god ask god for wisdom 
and he will reveal mysteries to you. Give your life to Jesus and he'll bring you to heaven. See you on my next video.